What does a photojournalist that finds himself perpetually on the road every single day end up usually doing? Ah, that's right. We end up finding cool coffee shops. And here's a new one in Fairhaven, Massachusetts on Washington Street. It's called The Nook. Let's go check it out. It's funny that as a photojournalist, there's like very few places as important as a good coffee shop. Why? Because a lot of times you just run out of energy driving around and you always need a good place that you can sit down with your laptop and process some cool photos. So I'm at the Nook in Fairhaven and it looks pretty cool to me. I like this place already. This is called the Naked Shot. It's not pressurized, there's no spout that it comes out of, and it creates just a much thicker, richer shot of espresso. So this is gonna give us our normal 18 doses, I mean 18 grams, and then I usually give it about two more, just to, uh, just to make the espresso a little bit sweeter. Sorry, man, I'm bumping in here. No, um, so you'll see when I do this that the uh, I take it, and I put the put it up here because it kind of gives a little splatter at first. Normally, there we go. So that's okay. And now you'll see that that's gonna it's gonna form. And what it's doing now is called pre-infusion. And then once it starts pushing through, you'll start to notice it will form a bit more of a streak. There we go. And you see the way the espresso comes out more like chocolate. Um, again, tamped very hard, 20 grams of coffee, and it's uh, it'll start pooling a bit, and then we'll start getting more of a straight. But you can totally see that chocolate-like consistency that's coming out, and it just produces a naturally sweeter espresso, um, less acidic, just more of the notes that Americans want. I, Italian, es Italian espresso is, is much more bitter than what the American palate is used to. So There's like, like, my favorite moment of the day is when I stop and just like enjoy a cup of espresso or a macchiato or a cappuccino or a maya light or whatever it is. There's just something about that moment of the day where you, and for me, it's like a moment to reset, right? So you start off really early. In my case today, I've been all over the place, mostly in Westport, been to the zoo, and you just kind of like, you just need something to pick yourself back up. And to have uh, like a, a true barista like Paul on the case gives me confidence that I can walk through the door over there and end up with something special. Now, in this case, he made me a beautiful macchiato, and you can see the amazing crema in this thing. Right? Now, if you don't know what a macchiato is, macchiato in Italian means uh, a mark, basically a mark on the milk, right? So, you know something? I'm going to let Paul explain to you exactly what he did in this case, because he asked me what kind of macchiato I wanted, and, and I said, I want the Paul special macchiato. So that's what he did for me. Now he's working on... What are you working on? He's working on a mocha for he's working on a, he's working on a, a mocha for the guy behind the camera. So, uh, say hi, Josh. How's it going? So, uh, you up for this or what? Oh yeah, I've been here a couple times already. Yeah, so quick, quick, quickly becoming a regular here. Yeah, and uh, especially like in Fairhaven, it's uh, it's such a beautiful spot, Washington it, it Street. It really is, right? and it's three blocks from my house, so it's like the perfect so location. You're good to go. Well, I don't know, uh, I don't know about you, but uh, you know, Josh is going to be one happy cat with this. Just finished this bad boy up. Now I got more energy than I know what to do with, right? Um, but it's really cool. It's really cool to see how serious Paul is about his coffee. I mean, in, in many cultures, coffee is a religion, right? And um, especially in the European culture, um, where the espresso has evolved from the, um, from the days, you know, in the French cafes. 
where people would sit around talking literature, talking politics. Uh, it was a huge deal. And today, the coffee shop is obviously a little bit different. And in a lot of ways, I hope that places like this, the Nook, become like a gathering where people can just hang out, can just sit, talk about what book they read, and and just enjoy a good cup of coffee. It's good to see though how serious he is about his coffee. I mean, there's some passion there. And you know something? When you have that much passion, it translates to and what you taste. So I'm really pumped about this place.